Hello everyone, and in this video I want to show you how I can create or change my menu templates. And first of all, you should log in using your own data or create a new account using registration form. So I have created my own test account and I'm going to use this data. Log in. Right, now you should choose the project and open message templates. Here you can see standard templates, also you can see hierarchy, which is represented here for convenience. You can find sections and subsections, and if you want to change one of them, you should choose it, tap using right mouse button, and press edit. Right, the new page is opened. In the parent menu, you can choose the place in template hierarchy. Add the message information about us is a subsection of main menu. We should choose main menu as a parent template. In the message from user area, we write a message to which the bot sends feedback. In our case, it is number one. In alternative message from user, we write another one command for a bot, which makes the same feedback. For example, if client wants to know information about us, he will send one or an exclamation mark. Then we write our text here, but I don't want to spend your time and I delete this symbol. And in this step, you can attach a video or picture, but it shouldn't have a big size. Also, we can use any functions in this menu. For example, using the function a letter to the administrator, when client pick this template, administrator will get a message and this dialog moves to a need to check section. So you can learn more concerning our browser messenger in another video. Also, you can see other useful functions like unsubscribing or show current menu and so on. Right, now we can save our changes and check it. So press the save button. Scrolling down, and here it is, the template with an exclamation mark and a message without emoji. Our change was set. So let's continue. If you want to add a new template, you can do it pressing add button, and a new page will open. And firstly, we choose parent section if we need. In our case, we want to add a subsection of main menu, and for this reason we pick main menu. But if we want to add a section, we should pick nothing. In message from user area, we write 8 number. Because we have already had 7 points. What's the next? I'm going to write our text. For example, we write about our location. So, you can find us at our location and some random address. Also, we can attach a picture if we need and add a description. For example, location. So we are ready to add our template. Press Add button, and as we can see, our template was successfully added. And now I'm going to show you how we can create a template which is answering on incoming calls. This template will be useful for organizations which don't lead phone calls, they keep in contact using messengers only. So our bot can automatically send messages to a person 
who tried to call in your organization using WhatsApp. And for doing this, we should press Add button and create new template. Now we should make some changes in parent menu, but in message from users area we should write incoming call using these symbols. Also we use it as the alternative message. And then write our message. For example, we can not answer on your phone call, but we will write you soon. Something like that. On the next step, we should choose a function, a letter to the administrator. So, what we have? In case if client calls to your organization, he will get this message and your administrator will see the request in need to check section. And now we can press add button. As you can see, our template was successfully added. And now I want to talk with you about our subscribing function. You can find it in this template. So edit. The message from user is an email and alternative to. It means that if a client sends email symbol to the bot, it won't deliver reminders to him anymore. Client can use this function in case if he doesn't want to get any reminders from a bot. Afterward, he will get at this message. You have been successfully unsubscribed. So that's all for today and thank you for attention. If you have any questions, you can write to technical support. We will be able to help you and goodbye.